Go and only on News 5 at 4. We're taking you on our latest adventure with meteorologist Alan Rose. He is, of course, joining us in studio this afternoon. Tell us all about where you went this time. Allison, this week you're going to love it. We're going leap peeping on a steam powered locomotive through the mountains of Teller County. Really a treat for railroad and history buffs and an adventure for the entire family. Check it out. With its authentic bells and whistles, the Cripple Creek and Victor Narrow Gauge Railroad has been entertaining guests since 1967. The star attraction of this family-run business is an engine that dates back nearly 100 years. The engine we're using today is a 19, built in 1927 by HK Porter Company in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. General manager and owner Jim Birmingham says that his father John purchased the engine back in 1963. A few years later, the Cripple Creek and Victor Narrow Gauge Railroad was born. Before each trip, up to 125 pounds of coal is scooped into buckets and loaded on the train. You always got to keep it burning just right or else your steam pressure starts to drop and then your train doesn't go anywhere. The smell of coal permeates the air as we depart the station. What follows is a scenic four mile trip from Cripple Creek to Echo Valley and back. On board, you'll learn about the gold mines that once dominated the region. By this time of the year, there's an added bonus leaf peeping. Birmingham tells us that fall is one of his favorite times to ride. This time of year, it's uh, really good up Poverty Gulch is uh, the first place that we pass um, as we leave town off to the left. He's right. We pass several groves of aspens and all sorts of colors along the way. You know, this year I've seen a lot more oranges here and there, oranges and reds. Pulling back into town, our conductor tells us about Cripple Creek and how the town was founded. And at one point, Allison, Cripple Creek was known as the world's greatest gold camp. The town rose to prominence around 1890 when Bob Womack struck gold in the area. Always full of so many fun facts there, Alan. And is this attraction offered year round or what should people know? Well, you know, it's take advantage of the changing fall foliage. We actually went up and rode the train at the end of the season. He told us that they can't run in colder weather. So unfortunately, you're going to have to wait until next season. They pick back up our oh, operations. Yeah. Get ready, Memorial Day 2022. Okay. I want you to put it on your calendars now, though. It is totally worth the adventure. I will. I mean, it looks beautiful, but I think I would love to go around the fall time, yeah. certainly just because can't beat all of those leaves. And, you know, you got more oranges and reds. Those are my favorite. If I can request which color of leaf I get, I'm, I'm, I'm going with the reds and oranges. Just put in there. that request now. Exactly. I wish I could, honestly. You just did. Yeah, there you go, Alan. Thank you.